Power is back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. So the autosave feature is a huge maybe on if it will actually autosave when it says it autosaves. It seems to remember whatever documents you collected or viewed or whatever, or scanned, but it doesn't start you from there. For instance, I had to start back before starting up the EFR. So yeah, a little, little annoying. Let's do this. Module UN1 hull contact points to EAS3 are unresponsive. This sounds bad. Yeah. Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. With the mini game. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Ooh. Looks like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. Uh-oh. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS-11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. I'm granting you EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. Alright. Well. Oh, the Sphere's in here. Okay. So, these are barcodes to scan, and they're just everywhere. We gotta find the right one, probably. Oh, and I finally figured out the controls for this connection sphere. Very sensitive. Yes. Can't. I can't scan it. Am I scanning? Do I scan from there? No. Okay. That's alright. I guess I scan from here. Maybe? No. Please repeat your previous request. You need to get outside to those clamps in the sphere. You might have to flash your firmware in EAS 11 first. Are we not? Oh. Oh, 11. We're not in 11, are we? So, the little symbols. This is where the EFR. This is where crew bunks. This is where the captain's module is, but we can't get in there. We need to get in here where the airlock is. So. Wonder where she is. Doesn't say. Oh, she's down here. What you doing, Emma? Just uh, hanging out where you were when we encountered that weird hexagon. Are we not going to talk about the hexagon? I would like to talk about the hexagon. I guess we're not going to talk about the hexagon. She's just going to load there while I do all the work. I don't see you doing the mini games, Emma. Alright, let's let's get to it. Let's go flash some firmware like little sexual deviant this connection sphere is. Um, is this it? No. But there's two of these now. Did I not wander into here? No, I didn't. Okay. I can't talk about it. Ooh, a uh, scan document. Sphere upgrade procedure. To allow for maximum mobility and protection from the vacuum of spa space, space, there are a minimum of three sphere upgrades to ad for additional abilities helpful in carrying out their relevant work. Prior to extravehicular activity, Scanning the appropriate upgrades with the sphere in EAS 11 will allow new firmware to be applied, enabling these features. Using a terminal or placing a request on SAM, users may combine the script compiler with all feature scripts to apply. Once applied, these features remain permanent and require a full reboot to remove. So light, speed, and signal. Awesome. Let's, uh... Sphere upgrade HVCA, an HVC high variation code that provides SAM with the sphere upgrade whatever script. This must be combined with an appropriate compiler in the SAM OS mainframe. 
Whoa. Very sensitive. Sphere upgrade HVCB in high variation code that provides Sam with the... Okay, I'm not going to keep reading them. They just seem to say the same thing. Combine... Yes. So there's a lot going on. There's the memory core... Oh, we gotta find the fragments. Fragment added. Oh. Is that the fragment? Oh god, I have to keep... Corrupted data everywhere. One fragment remaining. Don't think it's this way, let's go around this way. Where's this one fragment? Oh gods. Did I... I scanned everything. Okay. Okay, nope. Nope. Apparently... I need to try again. Data. Okay, well, we got the compiler, we got light, speed, and signal. Am I just doing it wrong? More than likely, I'm just doing it wrong. Okay, let's try this again. To the memory core. Or do I have to just do it again? <sighs> Alright. Oh, I gotta check each one. Okay, it was just me messing up. Great, that's you all set up. Okay, get those module clamps fixed, Sam. Yes, I shall. We shall do that. Okay, to the outside. Is this an automatic procedure? Or do I have to... Ooh, there's a boost. It's not doing anything right now, but... Pressure controls disabled. Airlock not sealed. Let's, uh... Let's close the internal hatch. We're gonna depress this airlock. Airlock depression. Now open. The control panel where you can rearrange the clamps is on the outer hull of EAS-3. Oh boy. We could I'm... maybe check out a US-12 while we're out here. Yes, we are going to do that. Oh boy. Sensitive. We're going to get lost. Ooh, is that? Yes. No. Should I do some? Oh, that's right. We can maybe find that body. I was going to say, let's do some exploration. So this is 12. It's still there. We could check it out. Yes. Okay, no response. Oh. Looks like it was completely blown open or something. Can we get in here? Do not like that there's sound effects. Unpleasant sound effects now. Because we're all up in this. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll have to go into the other side. Maybe the signals. Getting blocked by something? Well, we found a shelf. And storage bag. No bodies. There's a laptop. Not much else here.
in my suit heading out. Emma, I'm in my suit. I don't know what is happening. I was trying to unlock the door after the lockdown and the module started shaking and then Sam jettisoned the module. How did Sam jettison the fucking module, Em? He shouldn't be able to do that. I'm going to try and work my way around the station exterior. Ah, shit. Well, that doesn't look good. Maybe he was the one who was floating around, although I thought I saw that before we jettisoned it. <gasps> He's out there, and he wants revenge. He's gonna kill us. I don't like that there's a boost. That makes me think I'm gonna have to run from something. Just sit in here and hide. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything else in here. Unless there's something else hidden in here. Wish I had more control over being able to move this thing, but here we are. Although I wonder if that was Sam from before the reboot that did that. I don't know. It's too many mysteries, not enough answers. I still think Sam is the cause. Oh, oh. No, but I want to check something. Maybe I can report on it? Let Emma know, hey, by the way. No. No. Okay. Yeah, turning's a lot easier when you realize you just move the mouse button in that direction and just keep it there once you move it in that direction. But there's two spots I want to check out. I would like to check out that and that. Yes, that boost allows us to move quickly. No? We're not going to talk about this? Did I just hit something? Usually that only happens when I hit something. Oh. Is that... Yes, never mind. That's EAS-12. I'm going to get lost real easy. So they probably don't have windows, I'm guessing. It's not like I can really look in. Although it does have uh, thrusters, it looks like. I mean, those could be speakers for all I know. Okay, where's the other one? Over here. Straight down, Sam. The controls are at the bottom of the EAS arm. Am I taking too long for your liking, Emma? What am I hitting? I don't see anything. Does it not want me to explore? It doesn't. So, where was that body at? It's floating around somewhere. Oh, oh. Is this... Am I just right back to... Yep, right back. I got excited and that's the EAS. Alright. Is there a way I can... Hang on a second. What's that? Why does that show a person? I just... Okay, is this back to you? Yes. I'm just getting lost now. This has been damaged, could I not know? We can't talk about that. Okay, I need to orientate myself again. Shouldn't I see a body? I guess that maybe that was Josh's body we saw floating around. Yeah. 
All right, I know this entire video is going to be me just messing around out here. So, 12 was over here. We got to get to three. So, following this, along the bottom, that would be the captain's module over there. Wow, these panels look messed up. So, three. Oh, there's two. Oh, they have got labels on them. Useful. Getting closer. There's four. Look for the controls on EAS three. Yes, I know, I'm aware. Thank you for reminding me. Is this three? No. Gain lost again. That's four. Uh, oh, not the button I meant to do. Is this? No, that's hull contacts. Alright, alright, this is... Which one is this? That's four. Is this three? Oh, that's two. That's seven. Oh, here's three. Okay. This big thing is three. Maybe that's why it's showing hull contacts. Well, I guess I gotta fly around it. Look for some kind of control panel? Ah, yes. Okay, here we go. Lamp not. Okay, we just gotta reset. Hold S. No, wait. So I have to hold S. I have to do both at the same time? Oh, okay, yeah. We have to do that for each. The next two. Awesome. Is it going to go as well? Yep. Well, I guess we'll get to see what happened in the universal module. Although, where did she come from, if not from the universal? Or was she stuck in one of the the airlock one. That's it. So many the questions. Connection points are reading true. I think that's working. Yeah, it's working. It's gonna take a few minutes while the module connection runs its pressure checks. Sam, while you're out there, take a closer look at the damage you detected earlier on the station exterior. What can you see? Finally. An unknown material is present at hull fracture points. That looks like what I found in EAS-4. What the hell is it? Uh oh. Bring the sphere back inside and meet me in EAS-3. Let's get this hatch open. I hope to God the others are okay. Josh is not. Well, fortuitously, it's right there. All right, where, where, where is it? Controls. Am I in the right one? All right, here we go. Uh, I just gonna say it's not closing. All 
Alright, well. The hatch lights are on. Looks like the connection to Universal is holding. Great work, Sam. Now, lift the lock down on the hatch, please. Alright. Let's uh, go to Universal. It's that, yes. We gotta get... Is this Universal right here? Yes, it is. Unlock. Ooh, do we get to go? Yes. Okay, that's it open. Here we go. Here, let me. Since our battery died. Thank you. Or is she taking the camera? Hello? Elsa? <sighs> May? Stars? Where the hell is everyone? Good question. Jim? Well, we haven't seen any blood or bodies, so that's a good sign, right? Why is the link door closed? Josh, are you there? No, he's outside. Oh, don't focus the camera on you. Come on. Sam is curious too, you know. Or maybe he already knows and he forgot. Or... No, no, no. Who is that? Show me. Show me, Emma. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, you poor soul. It says soul, but it sounded like she said fool. I'm so sorry, Stas. Looks like it was exposure. It must have been depressurized at some point before. Sorry, mate. Fuck, I'm so sorry. Do we have agency again? That's your universal camera systems back online now. So keep an eye out for anything while you work. Uh-oh. All right. Hello? Is someone there? Me, it's Emma. You have no idea how happy I am to hear you. Emma. Oh my god, Emma, I'm stuck in Shenzhou. Where are you? We've just made it to Central. Who is we? Me and Sam. I don't know where anyone else is yet, except... Except Staz. He's dead, mate. Oh, God. How? It looks like Central depressurized. It's okay now, though. Uh, he's in his suit, but I, I don't think he had O2. What about Jim? Josh? Ailsa? Nothing yet. We had, like, a full power outage. Sam has lost most of his functions, and we're slowly getting him back up to speed. Okay. I'd like to help, but I'm stuck in the Chinese arm. There's something wrong in UN-3. It's all locked down. I'll get Sam to look into it right now. Sam, check the station alerts. Make that the priority if you can. UN-3. I just checked out UN-3. There's nothing really going on in UN-3. UN3 looks pretty good. No bodies, no blood. No aliens. Okay, so we checked out, but it does say... Crew tracking sensor. It's curious. Okay, UN5. This almost looks... Oh, wait, that was the... <laughs> UN4. Nothing of particular interest except for a laptop. Let's uh, access that laptop. 
I like that I finally now have the opportunity to just explore. I'm gonna use it. Enter pin. I do not have a pin. Okay, well. Suppose we'll eventually find something. Uh, let's go back here, see if there was a laptop. I might have missed. I think there was a dead laptop. But there's this. Coolant. Can't add it to the system link. Anything from here? No. Dead laptop. What's that? Oh, the camera's also weird. So trying to be exact like that crew tracking sensor. Okay, where's the crew tracking sensor? Oh, that's just where the sensor is. Not that there's necessarily a person there. So I suppose that uh, will eventually give us the opportunity to track people? Let's do UN6, where apparently there's another crew tracking sensor. Ooh, it's all red in here. Is that another one? Laptop, okay. Well, we will have to... Vent. I'm still... There's just so much possibility on what the story could be. The explanation for all this, and... I hope it's good. I mean, we can't use it, but at least we have it connected. There was a laptop that's dead, but there's another laptop. Don't think we can get a good angle on that laptop, though. Alright, we're not going to start opening hatches just in case. See, can't get an angle on that laptop. Just on the dead one. Alright, uh, ULC. Only two cameras in here. Looks like there's a control, uh, gods, one of those control spheres flying around outside. Just want to see if there's a body. No. Okay. Uh, you see one, which is where Emma is, and there is life support. Zooming in on the body do anything? How do they know it's Staz? They didn't bother to take the helmet off. I mean, oh wait. If only there was a better system for guidance and navigation. I could access it? Sure. Currently unavailable, though. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Let's try a different angle. Oh, wait. A laptop. Let's add life support, just in case we need to cut off life support. No, we can't talk about that. There's no biometric data detected. <gasps> what if everyone is dead? Or we're in a different... Dimension? Maybe? I mean, the hexagon. What is up with that hexagon? UN hatch schematic. Sure. Well, we got that. Message to Crusoe. Hi, everyone. 
everyone. I know a lot of you have been getting head up about requests from Houston and from me that have been butting into your work this past week. I just wanted to say that I'm hearing you all loud and clear, especially Josh as he's been the loudest. I know it's been frustrating, but we're getting to the end of it now. We'll be back on expectant ESA practice soon, really soon. You've just got to trust me. When we get through to the other side, I can maybe fill you in on what's been happening. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Decryption protocol. Confidential. Decryption key matrix. Note for use. All standard communications between observation and ground control are automatically hardware encrypted and paired in the event of a breakdown in hardware or to contact local vessels such as a protein shuttle. Whose encryption hardware has failed, use this key to reconfigure. Each vessel carries the same key, and as such, station to craft or Houston communications should still be possible by decrypting with this key, even with hardware failures. Alright, well, we may or may not have that. Is there anything else? Maybe that was something. No, it's not on. So, what's she doing over there? That is... Communications terminal. Doesn't look like it's on, but that's not stopping her. At least she does not give up easy. Oh, we're gonna get a close look at... Uh... Alright. think there's anything from this angle. Okay, let's move on to ULA where there is a... oh wait, let's do this. ULB where there is a link conduit. After fully exploring everything then I'll get to the objective. I just want to make sure... oh, explosive bolts! <laughs> Oh, uh, we're gonna need that, aren't we? No, offline. That's okay. There's a floating flashlight. Looks like the kind of flashlight that you can really injure someone with. Has it been used? Is that why it's floating around here? Non active laptop. A ULA, another link conduit. Might as well add it to the system. Watch, it's completely unnecessary to, to do all this, but still doing it anyway. Ooh. Is this like storage? Yeah, it looks like storage. Is that. Yes. That is. Oh. Got another laptop. Stas and Elsa, please. Thanks, guys. Don't worry. It's not just your imagination. This isn't gossip either. We just want what's best for them and what's least disruptive to observation. I'll go to Jim with Elsa's sleep station idea. A change of scenery could be nice anyway. Message end. So, Emma and Josh, could there be conflict? between them I'm of you know the stress of being in space and being co-workers or conflict of the sexual kind the plot thickens all right so you see two there's a mainframe yep mainframe oh I didn't check to see if there was camera access. Okay, another crew tracking. Oh. I guess they wanted to have an orange theme in here. Let's get this crew tracking system linked. Alright, any more? Laptops we can connect with. Want to hear more about what other 
or what kind of trouble they might have been having. It sounds like with that one, they were working a lot more, or maybe they were working in unsafe conditions. So you and two. Although it was rather vague, that's a body, isn't it? Of course, now I can't. Oh, communications network. That's important, not the body. Alright, so who stayed in here? To have a module of their own. Seems odd. These laptops do not have their batteries dead. That would be nice. Online via system links. Okay, well. No. Let's check the other cameras. We can get a closer look at what's in here. Because it looks like it would be a body, but... Can't verify. Yes. Laptop. Pictures, camera, binoculars. Ooh, documents. May spacewalk photograph. Photograph of May Morgan's first spacewalk, pictured alongside Captain Jim Elias. And of course she's got her helmet on. Now we just cannot get enough of a view. Can I just talk about it? No. Alright. I think we got one more. This is where biomedical is. Ooh, experiment glove box. Were they doing some risky experiments? Were they asked to do risky experiments? Interesting medical storage. Oh, there's one of those things. That looks empty, though. What does it mean? Can't really see inside there. Really see anything in here. Environmental sensor? No, super cool. Instant cold pack. Because those cold packs... Pretty important? Okay, it looks like there's random stuff in there. It's a medication. Oh. Uh, no. Thought that might have been a document, but it wasn't. Alright, let's uh get back to the to the task at hand. What am I supposed to do? Emma, please repeat your instruction. Look at your station alerts, um, find out what is wrong and do your best to fix it whilst I get this tracker back online. Oh look, station alerts. 